Each year across the globe, orphaned children face a hopeless reality. Nepal has nearly one million orphans, and they are less likely to ever hear the name of Jesus than in any other nation of the world. Yet, in the face of such grim statistics, there is hope. There is a place for New Beginnings. New Beginnings was founded in 1986. Our mission is about creating new beginnings for children in need. Four years ago, we began to consider opening a work in Nepal. Little did we know God had already put things in motion 15 years before. In a land far away, a young Hindu man named Bobby once searched to know the name of the Lord. His parents taught him about hundreds and hundreds of gods. In college, Bobby sought for answers in science and philosophy. But when he looked at the beauty of the mountains, the sunset, and all of creation, he knew in his heart that there could only be one God. When I first hear about Jesus, I resist because of the hurt and sin. It will bring my family name. But one day, the Lord spoke to me and told me I should be that time. From this first step, I began a journey that would lead to becoming a minister of the gospel of the Christ Jesus. When we learn that a child born in the country of Nepal is the least likely born on the face of the earth to ever hear the name of Jesus, even one time, we felt that going to Nepal was God's answer to our prayer. Finding someone we could trust in a country we never visited was another matter. But both professional and mission sources highly recommended this young man of God named Bobby Adhikari. In 2008, founder Stephen Drury and Tom Veeley traveled to Nepal and met Bobby Adhikari for the first time. After paving the way to begin a ministry in Nepal, New Beginnings leased a three-level home and developed it to house children. In March of 2010, a group of 13 representatives from New Beginnings traveled back to Nepal and began work on the building. The group painted the walls and created murals of Bible scenes. They also furnished the home with a refrigerator, microwave, and a water heater. The building is now home to approximately seven to nine orphans. These are children off the streets of Nepal who are learning English and most importantly, learning about the Lord Jesus. These are the stories of the children receiving care in the new beginnings of Nepal home today. One morning, some Nepalese villagers heard the sound of a small baby crying. They began looking through the bushes where the sound came from and discovered little Rhea, who was approximately nine months old. A member of the Pentecostal church in Nepal took her home and tried to find her parents through the police and local media, but no one ever claimed this baby. That's where new beginnings came in. The pastor of the church contacted Bobby Adhikari, and when the proper documentation was completed, Rhea came to live at New Beginnings of Nepal, where she is loved and cared for, and will grow up hearing the message of Jesus Christ. Bharat came to the children's home in 2009. His mother and baby sister had drowned trying to cross a flooded river while looking for food. Bharat's father had gone to India for a job and never returned leaving Bharat homeless and helpless. And so at five years old, Bharat was orphaned. When the authorities found little Bharat, he was scared and crying. They called Bobby Adhikari and asked if he could take Bharat in. Bharat became the first child to live in the new beginnings of Nepal children's home, and now he is happy and safe with a hopeful future. Kumar came to the children's home out of heartbreaking circumstances. He was found by police abandoned under a bridge. The police tried unsuccessfully to find his mother and father, only to find out he had been living in a government-operated orphanage. But Kumar was not doing very well in that setting, and the facility was not able to adequately care for him. The government requested that Kumar be placed in the new beginnings of Nepal Children's Home. Since arriving, Kumar has flourished and is healthy and happy here. Saraswati and Mangali lived in a small village with their parents. One day, their mother suffered a seizure while cooking and fell into the fire. Their father was deaf and mute and did not hear her cries for help. 
The other villagers could not reach the girl's mother in time, and she died. The father is unable to work and care for Saraswati and Mangali because of his disabilities. At the new beginnings of Nepal Children's Home, these beautiful girls have the opportunity to overcome the tragedy of their past and experience the love of a Christian home and the hope that comes from hearing about Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for New Beginnings, for listening, for the voice of the God and beginning to my country and the people. You are help for the children as the witness for the Christ in this land, Nepal. Thank you so much. At New Beginnings, we've invested our resources and extended ourselves tremendously to care for children like Rhea and Bharat and the others. Launching this program has been challenging because of social upheavals in Nepal, but the Lord has continued to open the doors. As we continue to care for the children, we invite you to partner with us in this great mission. You have the opportunity to help care for and take the name of Jesus to an orphan in the country of Nepal. To help, please consider sponsoring a child each month. With your monthly gift, a child will be fed, cared for, educated, and loved and you will receive updates on the child in his or her picture twice a year. The New Beginning staff can provide you a packet with information on how to become a sponsor. If you are unable to partner on a monthly basis, but you still want to partner for the children, one-time gifts are needed to meet emergency and larger needs. And most importantly, the New Beginnings of Nepal orphans need your prayer. Please join us in praying that God will shine the light of His love through centuries of spiritual darkness and bring hope to the children of Nepal.